Hello, welcome to Tech Easy. Good evening to everyone. Today in this video, we'll see how we can create tasks in Zoho projects. So this is on my home page of Zoho projects. And see here at the left side, you'll have all the projects which are already created on your account. See, there are currently three projects on my account. So if you don't know how to create these projects, I already did a video tutorial on that. I'll drop the link in the description. You can go through that. So open one of the project here. When you see, when you open any project, you'll see tabs like dashboard, task, reports, pages, users, etc. To create a task, first you need to shift to the task tab. And now at right, you'll have the option like add task or you can click on add a task here or there is a shortcut also. Just press letter C plus letter T at the same time. I'll just test it. Yes, it is working. So yeah, in either way you can click. I'm clicking now. Click on add task and see here you can give the task name description and there are various fields to fill up. And can we customize these fields? Yes, you can click on this pencil icon or edit icon uh, for to modify these fields means the required fill up fields you can actually modify some of them as this is my admin account if you are also admin account then you will have this option meanwhile uh, we'll see what we can do for example uh, this is a digital marketing project so what I'll do is I'll assign a task to one of the SEO analyst to analyze data analyze website data something like that any task any task okay uh, I will write some description about this task uh, to do on which analysis on to gather some data everything I'll write the description here and this is the task list actually I'll tell you uh, that how you can create a task list at the end of the video I'll tell you how you can create the task list so there is already a task list that's why in the drop down the options are coming okay next coming down see I can attach some documents or video files or audio files or image files whatever it may be I can click on upload files and if there is a word document on my computer I can upload it if there is an image related to this task I can do that so yeah next step owner of this project uh, sorry owner of this issue for example you are the developer for example this is me my, uh, myself and this is another user in this project I'll tell you how you can create the user at the end of the video because when you create a issue you will assign to your employees which are also the Zoho users so I'll tell you how you can do that now I have assigned this task to someone and this starts to be started tomorrow and should be doing it within five days or four days okay this is the duration and priority how much priority should you assign this task this is very high priority so there are three options whichever according to the task you need to choose that one okay coming to tags tags are nothing but uh, like when you want to search this task among multiple tasks in that uh, to search as a query these tasks are really useful you can keep any tags like which are related to the ask okay okay just hit the enter it will be saved as a x you can keep more number of tags here and remainder if you keep the remainder daily there will be a notification to the email to the owner whoever you mentioned here in the owner list for those this remainder means a email will be sent about this task as a remainder so you can keep it to daily or yeah something like that recurrence in the sense repeated uh, so these two as everyone knows I am skipping that this is nothing but remainder to send the notifications 
and billing type it is billable non billable okay working hours how many hours the person should work on this particular task so four hours per day is fine for me okay that's good and associated team so right now uh, i don't have enough users so i didn't create this associated team so i'll click on add so just now i have created one task i can click on this one and view the task now and before going further as i said we can edit the modules here see here for example warner field this is a mandatory field you can say when you click on this there is a star mark just beside the warner indicating that this particular field on the uh, task adding uh, form this is mandatory okay you have done like that when you save layout from the next creation of the task this owner field will be set as mandatory and yeah you can just change the positions for a few of the tabs you can actually delete also see here the priority if you don't want you can just remove it just make it as the associate and remember if you don't want you can delete that if you don't want building type you can delete that but few of the mandatory fields uh, won't have this option probably uh, some are mandatory so yeah you need to make them available so i'll save the layout and again i'll try to create a new task let us see whether this i'll click on this project then i'll try to click on add the task and i'll just check the form here see the owner now has this uh, field is mandatory field and previously the remainder used to be here as i customized it now it is uh, no more available so in this way you can create task as i said at the end of the video i'll tell you how you can add uh, users you need to click on the users then you need to click on add the users and under invite under the invites just here in this area enter the employee of your company email id and click on add and you can check the role to administrator manager contractor or employee that is absolutely your choice if it is administrator the other person will have lot of privileges and actions he can do so when you click on add there will be a email invitation sent to the other person then that person need to accept the in invitation and he will also become a zoho projects user then he can access this particular digital marketing project and can check the tasks and can update the task i hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching have a nice day